Okay, this is our uh, El Mofo EMX pack or kit. It's got uh, all the components laid out on the bench here. There are our uh, cover plates for the battery pack. We've got bracket mounting system. We've got the QS13890H motor. We've got the X9000 controller with all of its componentry, including the dash, a larger BC351 dash, a regen lever, on off button, Bluetooth, dongle, a Hirschman high quality throttle. Um, we've got the battery pack here which is uh, without its covers, it's got the high voltage connectors, um, the 55 tooth rear sprocket, uh, battery charger, mounting brackets for the motor. And the procedure for turning this, this system on, once it's all connected, is like before you hook up the, the final connection on the battery pack, which is the second high voltage connector, you need to pre-charge the motor controller just in case the battery pack is on. It should actually be off, but in case it is on, the procedure is to connect a resistor in line on the metal components of the of the connector there, as well as the connector there, the resistor. It's safe because you're only on one side of the battery pack. Do it for about 10 seconds or so, and then connect the high voltage connector, which clicks into place. The next step is to power up the battery pack, and on the front of our packs, there's a magnetic switch. We provide a high strength magnet, so you effectively come up and you hear that beep sequence, it goes beep, 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 and that should enable the battery pack. And then after about five, three to five seconds, there'll actually be power on the controller. So you can actually go along to the handlebar switch, push on, and you'll see the dash fires up, which means it's ready to run. Now we've obviously programmed this motor controller already. In order to get it to run, it's, it's in zero at the moment, which on the left hand side there. So this has a push button here where it's got up and down. So if you push up the plus button, it'll go to mode one. And there's actually three modes which relate to power levels that are delivered that are programmable in the controller. If you go negative, 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 it's also got a reverse. And you can see on there, you've got things like motor temperature, controller temperature, and speed. So we'll go into mode one and I'll grab the throttle here. I see I'll grab the motor. Can you hold that as well? And then the motor starts spinning as I apply a little bit of throttle and the dash represents the speed of the motor. So, so if you get a bit faster. And there you have it.